Megan Delaney from our partners at the Herald joins us now. Megan, how are you today? Good, how are you doing? Good, you've got a little bit of a disturbing story about uh, third graders in Manatee County, right? Yes, so the state came back with the um, bottom quintile of third graders on the uh, new test that they took this year. So kids in the uh, bottom 20% and 29% or 1175 third grade students in Manatee County fell in that category. Now that means that those students are in danger of being held back and having to repeat third grade. Megan, what does this say about the schools and the testing? That's a big number. That is, a, that is a pretty big number. It's a pretty steady number for Manatee County, too. In the past couple of years, it's been 26% of third graders, 25 24%. This year, it did jump to 29%. Um, it's, an, it's an issue that they're aware of. It's an issue that they've been, been trying to work on. A lot of the students that are affected, um, English isn't their first language. They have some kind of learning disability. Uh, they're living at home in poverty. They're, they're getting um, free and reduced lunch prices at school. Um, so it's the kids that are already struggling the most that we're seeing in this in this bottom number. So they really are the kids that need the most help in schools. Has something also changed about the way those students are tested? Yes, the tests this year were new. So we knew the tests were going to be harder. Uh, they were tied to the controversial Common Core standards, um, which Florida has adopted under a, a slightly different name than Common Core. Um, still a lot of the same principle, a lot of the same standards. So the, the tests were new. A lot of people were nervous going into the tests. Um, I think most folks knew that uh, kids might score a little bit lower on these new tests because they, they were harder and they were different. Sure, and there's a, a lot of other issues surrounding that testing in general, so I'm sure there'll be continued discussion there. How does this reflect on the school district, or does it? So there's a, uh, this will affect these 1,175 kids a little bit differently each. Um, they can still be promoted to fourth grade um, if they have a portfolio that shows good cause. Um, and that's what the school district is doing now. They're looking at those different portfolios and they'll promote the kids to fourth grade if they've shown good cause that they you know, do read on level and are doing well in their courses. Um, other kids can also take summer school if their portfolio is not strong enough. At the end of summer school, they can take another test if they do well enough on that then they'll be able to go on to the fourth grade. But, but some of these children, we're not sure how many, will have to repeat the third grade. Is that, you, you talked about these numbers in the past, that they were in the 25, 26, now 29% range. How big are those third grade classes? I'm sorry? How, how big are those third grade classes? If we have all these students being retained and another batch of students coming into third grade, that's gotta be real taxing, not just for the classrooms themselves, but for the teachers and the additional students, right? So what they'll have to do is they'll have to adjust. Um, they'll have to maybe bring some teachers out of the fourth grade and, and put them uh, back in, into the third grade classrooms if there's too many kids left over. So they'll, they'll move those units and teachers because they do have to keep class sizes a certain size. All right, Megan, thank you so much. We'll look forward to reading more about your story in the paper, right? Thank you.